All right. Let's look at uh, Markov inequality and uh, we'll use that to derive some bounds for a Gaussian random variable. So we'll start with a non-negative random variable. <coughs> So x is non-negative, in other words, x only takes non-negative values. In that case, uh, expected value of x uh, by definition is 0 to infinity x fxx dx. Notice that non-negative means the, all the values of the random variable are non-negative, so 0 to infinity. So this is this integral is certainly greater than if you uh, if you do it on a subset. In other words, x uh, the subset is now integrate instead of integrating from zero to infinity, we only integrate from zero in epsilon to infinity, and that and that's certainly greater than if you substitute epsilon here, then uh, this integral is greater than this, and uh, pull out the epsilon outside. But this quantity is the probability of the random variable x being greater than epsilon. So we get the, so the, we get the Markov result, which is probability of x greater than epsilon is uh, less than or equal to expected value of x over epsilon. Now, uh, sometimes this also can be written as so uh, in a slightly different uh, way. So probability of x greater than epsilon, because these are non-negative, is the same as probability of e to the power it's a tx greater than epsilon, e to the power t epsilon. So if you think of this as a, a new random variable y, so according to, from here it is expected value of y over this quantity. So this is less than or equal to expected value of e raised to tx over e to the power t epsilon. So we also get uh, that probability of x greater than epsilon is less than or equal to e raised to minus t epsilon e to the power e. Uh, e to the power tx. Now we can use this to, uh, uh, we can now bring in the characteristic function because this is the characteristic function of the random variable evaluated at uh, t. So phi x of uh, t is by definition integral minus infinity to plus infinity, the function multiplied by the density function. Uh, dx. So to compute this is easy. I pull out uh, 1 over 2 pi outside. Then this is minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to minus uh, x over 2 sigma squared. Then x minus 2t sigma squared. Uh, dx. So the standard substitution here is put u equal to x minus t sigma squared so that x is u plus uh, t sigma squared. Uh, so then this integral, so for when x is Gaussian with the 0 mean sigma squared e to the power e raised to tx becomes 1 over 2 pi integral minus infinity plus infinity. So if I substitute, uh, notice that x minus 2 sigma squared is uh, x minus 2t sigma squared is uh, u, u minus t sigma squared, right? u minus t sigma squared. So this is u minus t sigma squared, this is u plus t sigma squared. So this thing becomes now e raised to minus u squared minus uh, t squared sigma 4 and the whole thing divided by 2 sigma squared. 
So the e raised to t term goes outside. So you get e raised to t squared sigma squared, t squared sigma squared over 2 goes outside. And the rest is unity because it is just the integral under an area of, uh, under a Gaussian density function, e raised to minus u squared over 2 sigma squared du. So this is 1. So we can use, uh, so this result is e raised to uh, half t squared plus sigma squared. So let me plug that in here. So in this case, the probability of x greater than epsilon is less than or equal to e to the power minus t epsilon. Then we can substitute this result, which is going to be minus half sigma squared t squared. And this is true for any t. So to figure out the t for which this will minimize, let us let me call this function to be v. So v is uh, t epsilon minus half sigma squared t squared. Uh, so from here, the derivative of v with respect to t is uh, epsilon minus uh, t sigma squared. So this is equal to 0. It gives us t equal to epsilon over sigma squared. So if I substitute it here, so this gives us probability of x greater than epsilon is less than or equal to e raised to minus uh, t epsilon, that will be epsilon squared over sigma squared. Here minus t squared, which is epsilon squared. Epsilon squared over sigma 4, then sigma squared cancels. So you get here minus epsilon squared over 2 sigma squared. So the answer will turn out to be e raised to minus epsilon squared over 2 sigma squared. So for Gaussian random variables, uh, for Gaussian random variables, we have a little stronger inequality. The probability that x is greater than epsilon is uh, less than or equal to this. So if you include both the tails, probability that absolute value of x is greater than epsilon is less than or equal to 2 times this, uh, e raised to minus epsilon squared over 2 sigma squared. Uh, this is provided, uh, so in this case, x is Gaussian with the 0 mean and variance uh, sigma squared. Now speaking of Gaussian, we can also derive a slightly uh, slightly related inequality using the actual density function. For example, fxx is 1 over square root of 2 pi plus sigma squared e raised to minus x squared over 2 sigma x squared. So let me take the derivative of this function with respect to x, of course. So you get 2x uh, 2x over 2 sigma squared. So 2, 2 cancels x over sigma. Uh, uh, so it will be minus x over sigma squared. Then this whole thing. So I'm going to write it like this, just the derivative, right? Or this gives us that minus sigma squared uh, the derivative is so minus sigma squared derivative is x fxx. So I'm going to use uh, this identity. So now if you look at the again the same inequality x greater than epsilon, this is of course. Uh, the, this is simply the integral from epsilon to infinity uh, uh, fxx dx. So here I am going to, uh, we can write one more step, but ep notice that this integral is, does not go through 0, so I am going to divide and multiply by x, and then I am going to take the 
least value outside. The least value is going to be 1 over epsilon. So this I can write this to be of this form. Because I have plugged in the least value, that's 1 over epsilon and goes outside. Then the rest is this. And for this one now, I'm going to use uh, this uh, portion. So this is going to be uh, m minus sigma squared over epsilon integral epsilon to infinity uh, f fx prime x uh, dx. So this is, uh, so the integral of fx prime is fx, so this is going to be minus sigma squared over epsilon uh, fx x uh, evaluated at epsilon to infinity. At infinity the function goes to zero, so the answer is going to be sigma squared fx uh, epsilon over epsilon. Now if I substitute for the density function, of course this will turn out to be sigma squared over epsilon 1 over square root of uh, 2 pi sigma squared e raised to minus epsilon squared over 2 sigma squared. So which is uh, sigma over square root of 2 pi epsilon e raised to minus epsilon squared over 2 sigma squared. So we have two results here. One result is this one. So notice that the key is this factor or here. One result is this. Uh, so here it is the probability of x greater than epsilon is e raised to minus epsilon squared over 2 sigma squared. This is another approach. Here also that, uh, that term is of course the same. e raised to minus epsilon squared over 2 sigma squared is. In addition, this is a little refined result because you also have uh, uh, these uh, constants here. Uh, so if x is uh, to slightly generalize this, or to summarize this, we can also uh, so in general, in particular, if x is Gaussian with mean mu and variance sigma squared, from here it would follow that probability that x minus mu is greater than epsilon, you can see, is going to be less than or equal to 2 times this result, 2 times this, so 2, two here, then square root of 2 cancels, so you get 2 over square root of pi, sigma over epsilon, e raised to minus epsilon squared over 2 sigma squared, exactly the same as this. Uh, And if you put uh, epsilon to be, let's say, k sigma, so when k is 2, this uh, result is, uh, for the Gaussian case, it's about, uh, this probability will turn out to be, so this, this, this quantity, so let me call it to be small p, uh, so in that case, probability will turn out to be 0 0.00. 295 and k equal to 3 that prob remember these are the tail probabilities tail probability will turn out to be point uh, 05 etc 05 etc i am sorry k this is k equal to 3 and k equal to 2 this will be point 05 so k equal to 2 it is point 05 this is uh, not even uh, 1% right point 2% etc so these are uh, general probability inequalities, but then we took, we applied the Markov inequality to the Gaussian case and uh, derived the two inequalities for the tail probability. So what it is, it is a Gaussian. We are de these probabilities are dealing with uh, just uh, this. This is the probability. So if you take epsilons to be here. This is the probability that x is greater than epsilon. So for Gaussian, we have two bounds. Probability of x greater than epsilon for a zero mean Gaussian is uh, e raised to minus epsilon squared over 2 sigma squared. Or doing it this way, it's the same thing but qualified by a constant here. And if you want, of course, if you know, if you shift it 
and take both the tails, uh, then you get uh, this result. And then I just uh, substituted k. So this is the two. This is the area be beyond the two sigma. So for Gaussian, it is less than uh, five. Uh, 0.05, 5%, right? K equal to 3, the area beyond 3 sigma is less than even 0.2%, etc. 